This is my absolute favorite way of connecting aluminium extrusion. And I wish that I had used this method for every joint on this frame, but I didn't. So let me explain to you what I did right, what I did wrong, and how you can build any frame in the easiest and cheapest way possible. For my new Acrobat frame, I needed something that was light, rigid, easy to assemble and disassemble, and that is why I decided to use 2020 aluminium extrusion. I used 50mm maker beam in my previous Acrobot, and for this I tested all kinds of external connectors such as corner brackets and plates. And the nice thing about those is that they're very flexible, you can position them anywhere on the slot without having to drill holes. But I have two problems with them. For one, they are relatively expensive, because you don't just need to buy the bracket, but you also need to buy uh, multiple nuts and multiple bolts for each connection that adds up for every joint in your project. And they take a lot of effort to assemble and disassemble. It can be very fiddly to get the nuts in the slots at just the right place and you have to tighten multiple bolts. And whilst I was prototyping, I was taking the robot apart quite often and this got annoying very quickly. So now I tried to design as much as possible for this button head connector. You need to drill a small hole through your extrusion. You slide in the button head through the, on the rails and then using a, a hex key you can tighten the button head from the other side. And there you have joint. However, it's not always ideal, because the connection is only held with friction, the bar can be moved with some force or vibration. So where I thought it was needed, I replaced the connection with this cylinder head instead, which goes all the way through, and it connects to the thread like this. A downside is of course you can only do one direction with this connection at a time, because a second bolt would cross straight through it. To make the holes, I used a 3D printed jig, which I will link in the description. Although it wasn't perfect, last time I made a jig out of metal, which lasted much longer. And as we're on a budget, I don't even have a real drill press, which also made it much harder to make precise holes. For the most part this was fine, but the cylinder heads need a countersink, which surprisingly gave me the most trouble. The 10mm drill just really wants to dance around in the groove of the extrusion. But once you have all the holes, putting it together goes really fast, because it's only one fastener per joint. And that's it, all assembled and done! In the end, the friction of the button heads is really quite strong and I wish that I'd use it everywhere. That would save me a lot of trouble drilling and also it's much more forgiving to use these kinds of holes than the cylinder heads, which aren't perfectly all where they need to be. I assumed that the friction wasn't so good because I used button heads on my old robot and had trouble with this, but the new one uses a larger frame and then the friction of the M6 bolt versus the M3 bolt is obviously much stronger. Now this is the video that I wish I had seen when I was first figuring out which parts to use for my robot. So I hope it's somehow useful to you too. If you like it, please uh, subscribe and follow my progress as I keep on building this robot. And see you around. Happy making. Bye bye.